Hey everybody, today we're going to go over some interesting information if you're a user that's interested in Arch or wants to take the foray of jumping off into Arch. I'm going to show you the easiest way to do it and at the same time actually educate yourself and get a little bit better grasp of exactly what you're doing with Arch Linux. Now, one thing I want to point out before we get started with the video. I do have memberships available on my channel, and I'm making some changes for the simple fact that right now everybody is struggling with money. It's really hard. If you go over to my channel, I used to have memberships that ran from $1.99 a month all the way up to $19.99 a month. What I'm doing is I'm getting rid of the three right here. $1.99, $4.99, and $9.99 is disappearing. I'm going to have two tiers. One is going to be $0.99 cents a month. And one will be a producer, which is $19.99 a month. Now, on the $0.99 cent month membership, you're going to get all the perks that you would get with these right here, which is name listed at the end of the video, the ability to have a conference call with me once a month, the ability to make uh, a vote in a decision of what my upcoming videos will be about. You're going to get a lot of perks with that. And at $0.99, cents, that's less than $12 a year, that gives you the ability to support the channel and at the same time, afford to do it. And I just want to thank everybody. Everybody that supported me so far. Uh, it's been great. I'm going to close out of that. Uh, we're getting ready to hit 14,600 subscribers. So I think some of the information that I'm putting out there, people are interested in. So please, if you love the channel, right here on YouTube, zip on over. 99 cents, and you're going to get a lot of perks from that. Now, what we're going to do real quick is we're going to zip on over to a website. And what we're going to cover today is Arco Linux. A lot of people out there I know have heard of Arco Linux, but I don't know if there are people out there that know exactly how much you can actually do with Arco Linux. And I do want to say something real quick. My main PC that I got Gecko Linux on uh, actually had an SSD problem. So I've got one ordered, going to get it fixed. I'm actually doing this on one of my business laptops, which is my Lenovo IdeaPad 3 with 8 gigabytes of RAM. So you might hear the fan kick up a little bit in the background. I had the option of just waiting 48 hours before I made another video or just go ahead and move forward, so I decided to move forward. But if you go to Arco Linux's website, which is arcolinux.com, I'll make sure to put that link in the description below, you're going to see a lot of information on your main screen right here. You can scroll down and it's got a burn into USB Calamari's installer, creating your own repositories the BTRFS drives, latest articles. You've got a lot of information just on the main screen. Now, if you come up here to home, you've got info, you've got Arco Linux, Arco Linux D, B, Arco Linux ISO, Forum. I'll go over these in just a second and tell you exactly what those mean. And then you've got Start Here. You can learn about Arch Linux. They make it simple. You've got a learning path. You've got BIOS and UEFI, pre-installation, installation, post-installation, post -installation, must read, and now what? And then on general, you've got everything from uh, Windows 11 all the way up to Apple, how you can put this on top of that hardware, use it, and not miss a beat, cover login, light DM, log out. There's a lot of information here that you can learn about Arch Linux. And then design, Compton, Conkey, themes, terminal design, tent, wallpapers, applications, Arco Linux apps, file managers. It goes through. This is basically where you come when you want to learn. Are you somebody that just wants to do more than just throw a distro on your PC and roll? Or are you somebody that says, hey, I'm interested in Linux and I kind of want to figure some of this out. This is the website you come to. This website right here has got so much information, and not to mention, Arco Linux has over 1,800 videos on their channel on YouTube to help you with problems you might have. Now, what generally happens is if there's an issue that a lot of users have, Arco Linux will go in and do a video and help you fix that issue. Then you've got Rescue, Listing, and then Downloads. So we're going to go over to Downloads real quick, and when your downloads pop up, before you do anything, I want you to go up here where it says start here and then go to Arco Linux editions. Click on that. And right here it gives you their four major editions. You've got a flagship edition, which is XL. You've got a small edition that comes with the Linux kernel or the LTS kernel or the Xanmod kernel or the Zen kernel. And then you've got a bare. 
This is where you decide your desktop before you actually download it. And then you got your B ISOs. You can choose your desktop or build your desktop. These over here are for people that are a little bit more comfortable with command line and those that are a little bit more comfortable with exactly what needs to be done to get their operating system up and going. And then down here, it breaks everything down. Arco Linux, if you look right here, this is your XL and you've got Arco Linux XL. This is complete. Your default desktop will be XFCE4. One desktop comes with the ISO. You can add any desktop you want. It's themed, Bluetooth printer network, lots of software. It's a 2.4 gigabyte ISO, 64 bit, and then you can add more software and then it breaks down here what you can actually add on top of it. And it does this for each one that's listed above. This one, as you can tell, it's a little bit lighter weight. That's lighter weight. And then this one goes a little bit lighter weight. But there is definitely a lot of places over here to learn about Arch and Arco and exactly what's going on. And if you're somebody that likes to learn and you're somebody that likes to get educated on the operating system you're using, or you're just somebody that wants to get educated on Arch, this is a must visit site, I promise you. Now, we've picked that we're gonna go with the XL. So you go over to downloads and you've got several different options here. You've got SourceForge, you've got Belnet, Seedhost, and then if you come down here, you've got Torrents. You can pick any of these. As you can see, there's XL, that's the top one. And if you're a beginner or moderate Linux user, you wanna stick with XL because that's the one we're gonna be working in today. And that's the top one listed here on all of them. You just pick wherever you wanna get it from, click on it, and if you get it from a Torrents, that's where your Torrent client will pop up. You OK it, download it, and you're good to go. And then if you get it from one of these three areas, when it's done, it'll be in your download folder on your system, just like it will be after the Torrent gets done downloading. So without any further to do, what we're going to do is we're going to zip on over to the Arco Linux desktop. And when you boot into it, it's going to give you this menu right here. Now, if you're running a machine that does have NVIDIA, you're going to want to come down here with NVIDIA. Or if you want to go straight NVIDIA, go NVIDIA No Nuvo. I'm just going to go open source because I'm using this on Intel with Intel graphics. So we're going to hit enter and it will boot up. And I tell most people while it's doing this right here, make sure to kind of watch what's being laid out in front of you. So that way, if there is an issue, you kind of get to see what that issue might be. Kind of give you a heads up if you're having any issues with hardware or things of that nature. And when it boots up, you might or might not have an issue of resolution. If you do, that's pretty simple. Just click on Arco Linux, type in display, go ahead and bring your display up and let's go ahead and set that to 1920 by 1080 or whatever your resolution might be on the system you're using. Let's go ahead and move this down here and I can go ahead and keep that configuration and close. And you're going to be met with the Arco Linux welcome app. This will pop up every time you boot your system unless you go down here and unclick auto start and then you won't see it and you will actually have to open it up from inside the app menu. Now another thing you want to look at here is if you're just going to run it in a live environment, here's your username, there's your password. So username's live user, no password. Just hit enter and you'll be good to go. You got some things up here. You've got update Arch Linux mirrors, which we don't need to do at the present because we're in a live environment. And then you can run Gparted if you want to go ahead and partition your drive before you do an install. And then you have easy installation or advanced installation. Now, with easy installation, it's going to pop up right here with your welcome, location, keyboard, partitions, users, summary, install, finish. This is generally what you're going to see on every Linux distribution you install. It's the Calamares installer. If you've installed Garuda, if you've installed Manjaro, you're real familiar with this. But what we're going to use today is something else they have. It's called the Advanced Installation. Now, don't get scared. The Advanced Installation is nothing to be scared of. I'm going to go ahead and open it up. And when it pops up, you're going to see a lot of things listed over here as opposed to what we just saw. Now, when you install Arch, if you just install Arch in and of itself, it's just going to install the base operating system with a desktop, nothing else behind it. 
What Arco Linux does is with this advanced option gives you power over the system that you're installing. It basically makes installing a lot of things on Arch a lot easier. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go through this process. So right here it says welcome. We're going to go ahead and click next. And right off the bat, it's going to ask you, what kernel do you want to use? If you're somebody that knows what kernel you want to use and you've had a little bit of experience with Linux or with Arch and you know you want to go with the Zen kernel or the Xanmod kernel, those are right here. You can also get the hardened kernel. If you're somebody that's new and you're just doing this to learn, go ahead and stick with the installs the latest Linux kernel. We'll go ahead and click on that. Then we want to go to drivers. Next, right here is where you pick your drivers. You've got Intel, Nuvo, AMD, GPU, ATI, VESA, and Open Chrome. I have Intel, so I'm going to go right here. So if you have Intel, just pick Intel. If you have AMD, go ahead and pick AMD. Now we're going to go next. What login screen do you want to use? Installed by default is SDDM. You can get LightDM. GDM, LXDM, LY. If you're somebody that doesn't know too much about this, I'm going to go ahead and tell you right now, just go with the SDDM. Now, we get to pick what desktop we want to use. You've got XFCE, Awesome, Bspawn, Budgie, Cinnamon, Cutefish. I'm going to recommend Cutefish has got some bugs still, so I would be careful with that one. CWM, Deepen, Dusk, DWN, FVWM3, Gnome, i3, Ice Window Manager, LXQT, Mate, Openbox, Plasma, Qtile, Spectrum. And let's go down and see what else we got. Xmonad. And a couple more in here. So, it comes with XFCE. I am always using KDE Plasma. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and let's install GNOME on top of this one. Now, your Arco Linux tools, you've got a lot of things you can add here. You've got the Arco Linux Meta packages, which give you different themes, fonts. It's got Samba, SDDM themes, Steam AMD, Steam Intel, Steam NVIDIA. Now, you can go down here. Let's say you want Steam with NVIDIA support. You can click there. Or you want Steam with Intel support. You can click there. And then you've got... Arco Linux Applications, Logout, Tweak Tool, Desktop Trasher, Reflect. I want to go with the Logout. I want to go with the Tweak Tool. Then you've got Arc Theming right here. These are theming packages. I'm going to go ahead and pick those because I like the theming possibilities that I have. Arco Linux Theming. You've got Candy Beauty, Arc KDE Icons, Paleo Fetch. I think I'll go with the Paleo Fetch. Arco Linux Wallpapers. Let's go ahead and pick those. You can get different SDDM themes. I'm going to go ahead and pick those. And packages that will install Plasma as a dependency don't need that because I'm going with GNOME. So we're going to go next. Communication. Up here, you can get different communication software. Element Desktop, Google Chat, NeoChat, Pigeon, Signal Desktop, TweetDeck, WhatsApp, Zoom, and then connect remotely. If you want to connect remotely, you can come down here and pick this. This is where it's important that if you do want to connect remotely, that you get into that Arco Linux website and take a peek at it. Then you've got development. Bluefish, Emacs, Genie, Kdevelop, Kdev, OpenSCAD, Visual Studio. So if you need any of those, you would want to go ahead and pick those as well. And then on Office, you've got Abbey Word, Caligra, Free Office. Let's say you wanted LibreOffice. You've got two different versions. You've got a feature branch and you got a stable branch. Now you don't want to install both of these because you will have conflicts that pop up. Now what I will probably do is go ahead and go with the feature branch. You can also use MS Office Online if you want to, Money Dance, Only Office, Open Office, WPS Office. You've got a lot of different choices here. Let's go next. Now fonts. This is where you can come in here and kind of pick out some different fonts that you want that come above and beyond the regular fonts that you get. I'm going to go ahead and go with the awesome fonts. Let's go with the nerd fonts. Uh, Carlito, Euro, and Helvecta. And let's go next. Multimedia, audio software. If you're doing anything audio-wise, you can pick it right here. I'm not going to use any of this, but if you want, say, you know, Audacious, Rhythmbox, 
Spotify, you can pick those right here and it will install it. Video software, I'm going to go down through here and I'm going to look for OBS Studio. And I want to find Caden Live. Do they have it? It's right there. I would have went right by it if I hadn't have saw it. So let's go next. Internet. Brave, Chromium, Falcon, Firefox. This is where you want to pick your browser. Now right here, I'm probably just going to fix with, let's see, you got Firefox, uBlock Origin, Firefox, AdBlock Plus. I think I will go with that. And then downloaders. If you want a torrent downloader, you can get it right here. They've got Transmission, KTorrent, Fragments, FileZilla. There's different things you can get right here. I'm going to go with Transmission. And then Cloud Software, Dropbox, NSYNC, Megasync. And then Mail Clients. Do you want a Mail Client? Let's go next. Theming. You can come down through here. If you want to get different themes, you can do that. I'm going to go with the base themes that I get from GNOME, so I'm not going to worry about that. Let's go next. Graphics. Blender, Darktable, Digicam. I want GIMP. Now, if you want any of these, go ahead and check mark them so they can be installed. Gaming. If you want to add different games or game utilities, there's Proton GE right there. There's Steam, Steam Tweaks. So you got a lot of different things you can pick in here. That's truly up to you what you want to do. Terminals. I'm going to probably go ahead and go with Alacrity and probably go with GNOME Terminal. And let's go next. File Managers. What file manager do I want to use on GNOME? I think I'm going to pick Nemo. Why not? Let's go next. Then you've got USB utilities. How do you want to burn a USB on GNOME? I think I would go with something. You can go with Ventoy or you can go with Image Writer. I'm going to go with Image Writer. And then accessibility utilities. I don't need any of those. So we're going to go next. And then right here is where it gets really fun. You've got utilities here. Utilities for time shift and BTRFS. I think I want to go ahead and use uh, time shift. And let's go ahead and go with the Grub. Utilities for Android. Utilities for iOS. Application installers. Uh, do you want flat packs? I do want to have... Let's see... I don't want Octopi. I want to go ahead and add Flatpak possibilities to it. Synops, U-Launcher, Power Management. You've got System76 Power if you want. Backlight, Utilities for Hardware Discovery. You could choose that. Auto CPU Freak, seeing how it's a laptop. Let's go ahead and pick that. And then let's go next. And now you can pick Applications. You've got Cheese, Flameshot, Password Manager. I don't want to use Bitwarden. Privacy Browser. Do you want a Tor Browser? You can get that right here. VirtualBox for Linux Kernel. Installs VirtualBox for Linux Kernel. Let's go ahead and just pick that one. And then let's go next. Arco Linux Developer. Software for Arco Linux Developers and Beta Testers. I'm neither one, so I'm not going to pick any of these right here. And then we go next. Location. Now, what we just did was everything in between the first two options of the original install. So I'm going to go ahead and click Next. It is an English keyboard, so let's click Next. And I want to go ahead and erase the disk. Uh, I'm going to go No Swap because I'm putting it into a virtual machine. But if you're using it, I would go Swap with Hibernate, especially if you're on a laptop. If you're on a desktop, I think you could get away with No Hibernate. But that's just my personal opinion. Let's go next. And here we put in our great names. eBuzz Central. Then you're going to want to put in your password. I hate mistyping. And that matches up. I'm going to use the same password for that. We click next. It lets you know what the summary is right here. You go over here. And it will start installing. I've allowed 20 gigabytes for this virtual machine. So it's running the mounting operation, starting to unpack. And right here, there's not really anything that we're going to learn other than it's installing. So what I will do is let it run its course. And when it gets to finish to the reboot, I'll be back with you. Another thing I want to point out is as it's installing, it tells you enjoy Arco Linux. It welcomes you to Arco Linux. It lets you know that this is just more than another distribution. This is a distribution that will help you learn. 
It gives you freedom to install more software. And their website is full of great information and easy to follow information along with videos. Like I said, over 1,800 of them. It's more of a learning experience for the distribution that you're using. I would say if you look at everything that's involved in this distribution that you've got more information than any other distro that's out there. And what I mean by that is ways to fix problems should you run into them. Information on how to learn, get knowledge, get support, what you really want out of an operating system. As you can see, we're almost at 50%, so we're getting close. Another thing I want to cover real quick, I do recommend that if you're wanting to give Arco Linux a shot, to actually do it on real hardware, I would definitely burn it to a USB and boot into a live mode from a USB. The reason is, is that way you'll know that your Wi-Fi adapter is working, your volume's working, your microphones are working, you don't have any problems with your monitor resolution. It, just do it off a live USB, test drive it, you know, 20, 30 minutes, put it through its paces, so that way you know, one, your hardware is good to go, and if you do have an issue, you can go to their website, look up a video on it, it'll show you a quick fix, or whatever information you might need. It's awesome to run it in a virtual machine, but at the same time, if you're thinking about actually using it as a daily driver, please burn it on a USB stick, and actually test drive it on the real bare hardware. As you can see, we're at 69%. It is at present installing the packages that we selected during the beginning of the install process. It's been approximately six minutes so far, which isn't too bad at all. We are getting closer. Okay, it has completed the install. Now I do wanna be 100% transparent. I originally started this off in GNOME boxes, and for some reason, the install stopped at 69%. I didn't know if it was something I had set up incorrectly or not, so what I did just to be on the safe side was opened up VirtualBox, did the same thing in there, and it went through with no problems. Using GNOME, using all the applications that I selected, Caden Live, GIMP, etc. But I wanted to let you all know that up front. Right now, I'm going to go ahead and click Done because we can restart. So let's go ahead and click Done. And it is booting. And it brings me to the login screen, so let's go ahead and click that, and I'll put in my password. Hit enter. And it brings us to the GNOME desktop. Now, I should be able to go right here, and there is, as you can see, the welcome app. Let's go ahead and pick that desktop. And you're good to go. You've got install software, launch Arch Linux tweak tool update Arch Linux mirrors. One of the first things you're going to want to do is probably update your mirrors. You have the drop-down terminal up here, so that's handy to have. Over here, you've got your battery, you got volume. You can go ahead and turn that up if you want to. And the first thing you're going to want to do before you do anything is update Arch Linux mirrors. And you can click on that. You'll have to put a password in for it. And it'll say updating your mirror list. This may take a little bit, so let's give it that time. And it tells you right there you're done. If you want to install software, you can do it from right here. Or you can also drop down here, I believe. And let's look up software. Add and remove software. Let's go ahead and click on that. And it'll pop up just like this. And if you want to, you can go over here. Let's go ahead and go to preferences. You got to put in your password. Then go to third party. You're going to want to enable AUR support and obviously check for updates on that. You can also enable flat packs and I'm not going to enable snaps. We can go to general and we will go down here. Everything looks good there. And then you can go up here and start searching for software. Let's say you were looking for something like OBS Studio. You can put that in. Click on OBS Studio and it's right there out of the official repositories and you can click right here to install it. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of this. Let's go ahead and open this back up. And off the bat, you've got Geary, Contacts, Weather, Clocks, Maps. There's Videos, Arco Linux Conky if you want to set that up. 
Font Manager, there's Firefox. We selected it as our web browser. Games, LibreOffice, that's what we selected. There's Caden Live. Let's go ahead and open that up. Make sure it opens up with no problems. And the first start's always a little slower. After that, it becomes a little quicker. Well, that wasn't too bad at all. And there is Caden Live. And you can come over here to Settings. You can change the color scheme if you wanted to. These look like all KVs. You could go with a arc dark if you wanted to and it would change all that white to dark if that's something you want to do that's pretty impressive i want to see because i am running this in virtual box let's go up here and see terminal you got that let's go ahead and open up the terminal and it pops up it says arco linux we're running in virtual box kernel 6.0.2 gnome 42.5 so you can see just how easy it is to install arch and it's not scary. It's not hard. You can also come in after you're complete and you're done. Check out all the software that you get with it. And then go in and start installing the software that you want. Arco Linux makes installing Arch easy. Arco Linux makes learning Arch easy. Utilize their website. Their website's got a lot of great information on it. You definitely want to go over there and take a peek. And get in that website. You can get lost. But you'll learn a lot. And... It's a place to go, a welcoming place to go should you have any issues. Like I said, I'm using GNOME here. You can pick any desktop environment or window manager you want and install it. Now, if you do want to run this live, I think you'll be all right in VirtualBox and GNOME boxes. If you want to install it, I think you need to stick with VirtualBox. But like I said earlier in this video, if this is something you want to do, and you want to download it and give it a shot, and it's something that you might install on bare metal or on a daily driver, definitely burn it to a USB. Make sure all your hardware is working before you take that step. What do y'all think? Is Arco Linux look smooth enough to, for you to give Arch Linux a shot? Does it look smooth enough for you to take the chance of using the advanced installer and just basically pick the things that you want on your system? Or are you somebody that's already running Arco Linux? If you're any of the above listed, please leave me a comment. And don't forget, join the channel. Become a member. It's only 99 cents a month now. Zip on over. Become a member of eBuzz Central. It would be greatly appreciated. Do me a big favor today before you leave. Please like this video. The more likes I get on videos, the more I stay in YouTube's algorithm. And if you learned anything in this video, it will obviously help somebody else as well. Also, subscribe to the channel. doesn't cost anything. If you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you like the channel and enjoy the videos that we're making, you can always become a 99 cent member, buy us a cup of coffee, go over to PayPal, throw us a donation. Heck, zip on over to Patreon and become a patron to the channel. Those links will be in the description below. As always, thank you for watching my video, and I will see you in the next video.